Okay. Gone live. Y'all there? Did that work? Am I live? Hell yeah, brother. Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that working? Yes, no, you got ad. Yeah, that means I'm getting paid, so. <laughs> I like ads. <laughs> I get paid for ads. Uh, someone else got an ad. Mm, beautiful. Hi, everyone. Hello, it's Finn. That's right, I'm back live. I have not been live in months because I was working on videos. But then I thought, be live, make video. <laughs> that makes no sense. This is going to be a video. Uh, is the point. Not this part, but... Yeah. Hello, everyone. Oh, I've got a lot of people. You guys were waiting for me. Okay. Oh. Do I sound good? Let me play some audio. Do I sound good against this audio? Like, I tested it. I thought it was good. Ba -da -ba -ba. I'm talking, talking against the audio. It should automatically lower a bit when I'm talking. What is going to be your next vid? I will maybe do a preview of it. A preview? Cool, but not until after. <laughs> Artificial in <smilogence. laughs> Interesting. That an intellectual, I say. Yeah, thanks, uh, Riley, for modding. Um, no, I'm just reading chat. Stinger Flynn, more like Stinger Finn. <laughs> I still haven't played Garden of Ban Ban 3. We're just gonna give it five minutes so that everyone shows up, because it's sending notifications. And then we'll start, for those of who you like Daria Banas saying, Finn, do it now. <laughs> you just got here. What did you miss? Nothing. I literally just went live. Two minutes ago? Yeah. <clears throat> Can't wait for the game. I, me too. I hope it's good. Oh, Barry, you're also modding. Thank you for that as well. That's cool. I <laughs> need mods. <laughs> because... The last videos are just full of spammers. <laughs> so no spamming or you will be timed out. And if you keep on doing it, you will be blocked or hidden. So you might be able to comment, but no one will see them. When are you going to make the Mario game mobile? I looked into making mobile games and it's quite hard because you have to add different controls. It's something I'll do. I might do it on a stream sometime, but uh, I might not ever do it for the Mario game. Oh, thought the music was stopping. Okay, I think this is gonna be everyone who shows up for now. Someone just became a member. Very cool. Uh, oh, that was yesterday. But still cool. <laughs> you did not play Garden of Bam Bam. No, I didn't play three yet. Finn, are you gonna go bald when you hit one million? No. <laughs> I like my hair, it's beautiful. People have told me... Wait, the stream's lagging? Oh, it says it's an excellent connection. Is the stream lagging? Let me make a poll. <laughs> Easy. Is... Mm, is stream lagging? <laughs> I mean, it's lagging for me, but that's because my internet's bad, so it's not good to watch my own streams. <laughs> oh, what? Really? Let me go see. How bad is it lagging? Oh, what? Really? 
It's not lagging for me. That's odd, because it would normally only lag if it was at the start. And it's at normal latency. I don't know why it's lagging. <laughs> it's, it's, I think it, it might be your connections because my dashboard says there's an excellent connection to YouTube. So it's, it's your connection from YouTube to you, which I can't fix. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to start because I think it's been enough time. Now, actually, let me stay on the face cam so I can explain what we're doing. And go to the my classic music. Turn that down a bit. Loud. <laughs> Back to the start. Okay, so, welcome everyone. Today, we are going to be using AI to make a horror game, and I'm going to do it in two hours. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Polymars did a video like this, but I'm not sure if he actually made it a video. I remember he streamed it. Um, but I also tried to do this last year and it, it didn't go so well because ChatGPT wasn't real. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be using ChatGPT to make the to come up with the idea for the game. We'll be using Unreal Engine to actually build the game. Uh, but for the like textures and that kind of thing, we'll use AI generated images and we, we might even put in AI generated music because why not? So, first of all, we're gonna make the idea. I'm gonna make a few ideas and then we'll let you, chat, vote on it. To which one we actually make. They're gonna to have to be simple because we've only got two hours to make them. Starting. Uh, now. Oh, I didn't, I didn't add live split. <laughs> um, hang on. Live split, go, there's live split. That's how much time has passed. And I'm going back to the less, <laughs> less loud music. <laughs> Still Nintendo. So, ChatGPT is open with my plus subscription that I pay for. Let's get a game going. Uh, what should we ask it? Suggest a an idea for a horror video game that I can make in two hours. Huh. Well, mm, okay. Ethereal Echoes. Concept. Ethereal Echoes is a short, atmospheric horror game that takes place in an abandoned mansion. The player takes on the role of a paranormal investigator who has been called to investigate strange occurrences reported by the locals. Okay, so it focuses on exploration and puzzle solving. So it's a puzzle solving horror game. Um, atmos Here's the main things to make. Make an atmospheric setting. That's easy enough. Exploration. So make a nice map. Haunting encounters. Include occasional encounters with supernatural entities that are brief and intense. Okay. Incorporate challenging puzzles. <laughs> oh, that sounds hard. A time limit of two hours to complete the game. No, the... the the AI's got it wrong. I want to be able to... No, you stupid idiot. I want to be able to make the game in two hours, not play it. Well, it's completely changed the game now. Yeah, this is a lot of text. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't start my recording oh, for myself. That's annoying. Okay, well, let's do that then. Now, so it's now saying to make a 2D text-based horror game. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want a text-based Game. Make it 3D. 
Okay, now it's going for a first-person atmospheric horror game called Shadows of Solitude. Uh, set in a haunted house. You have to navigate through, solve puzzles, and then... Okay, so this is the original game, but instead of complicated ones, it says do a few simple but intriguing puzzles. Uh, give me an example of a simple and intriguing puzzle. The lock study. Uh, you must align the symbols from the painting with the correct hour positions on the clock. Oh, okay, so there's a painting of a clock, and there's also a clock, and you need to make the clock match the painting. That sounds hard, man. Like, I have two hours, not two days. Why 2D? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I, sh I need, I need another monitor. Oh, hello, Techno Twitch. I mm, still owe you money. <laughs> I'll pay you. I'll pay you, I swear. Uh, okay. So, as far as puzzles go, this is pretty good. Like, opens a drawer when a clock lines up. But the game's pretty short, so if I did that, that's the only puzzle I could do. Like, it's not really a horror game, because there's no... I mean, there is jump scares here. It says to include a jump scare as well, but... I don't know that I can make a horror game with puzzles and a jump scare in two hours, so... Okay, how about we do... Well, actually, let's ask what it thinks I should make a jump scare. What should the jump scare and entity be? What is that? Oh windows uh the distorted mirror i'm not doing a reflection regenerate <laughs> i'm not learning how to do reflections why does it want to do a mirror so badly do you know how hard it is to program a mirror no they try again okay flickering light there's a dimly hit hall hall, hall, hall <laughs> dimly lit hallway with a flickering light at the end what was that was the music. Why did it do that? Why would it do that? Oh. Okay. Um, dimly lit hallway with flickering light at the end. As you approach the light, it goes out, enveloping the area in darkness. After a few seconds of tense silence, it turns back on, revealing a horrifying figure standing right in front of the player. That's pretty good. And then it gives a bit of a description. And then it chases you through the haunted house. Okay. Paint. I'm gonna pull up paint. Um, just go back to face cam. Oh, no. Paint. I'm just gonna pull up paint so we can... I can show you what I'm thinking right now. What I'm thinking is... Uh, we've got a mansion. Let's say it looks like this. <laughs> Ignore the my inability to draw, and like you, I don't know. You come in, and maybe there's an extra room over here. Got a mansion with a bunch of rooms and some doors, and you start here, okay? And you are red. Okay, and so we wander about into this room where there is a puzzle. We have to, there's a clock here, but it has no hands. And there's hands on the ground in different spots. There's also a painting here. You cannot see yellow. <laughs> At least I cannot see yellow. There's a painting here of a clock with its hands in a specific way <laughs> then if you can click the clock no if, if you if you like <laughs> oh, i'm losing track of my thoughts you pick up the hands put them on this clock and then move them <laughs> into position so that they match this one 
this door explodes. I meant opens. And you can go in. And there's a light here. Right here, there's a light. Wow. And as you approach, it turns off. The monster appears. He's apparently a devil. Uh, artistic skills activated. And he kills you. That's the end of the game. We don't do a chase. <laughs> That's hard. Okay. Um, what, what did it say that was called? It said that was called... Um, I cannot find the window. Here it is. Shadows of Solitude. Okay, that's the first option. Uh, start a poll. Which game? And we'll, we'll make three. So now we'll ask for another game. So we'll just go up to the top here. And start it again. Echoes of the past. The player assumes the role of a paranormal investigator, who a paranormal investigator who receives an anonymous tip about strange occurrences in the asylum, armed with only a flashlight and a voice recorder. Now this is saying the playtime of two hours again. That I can make in two hours, not play in two hours. The Haunted Mansion, we just did a mansion. Do a different one. Different one. Whispering Shadows Mansion. Another one. In a mansion. The, the protagonist wakes up in a mansion. An abandoned, dimly lit mansion. Uh, stop setting it in a mansion. Come up with something else. Hospital, okay. Uh, you awake in an abandoned hospital, not knowing how or why you ended up here. As you explore the dark and eerie corridors, you uncover the hospital's disturbing past and encounter paranormal entities that haunt its halls. Uh, Top-down perspective. That's interesting. It doesn't. It doesn't make a simplified art style or easier implementation of anything. But exploration and item collection. Okay. Sanity mechanic. Oh, so you've got like a health bar. What was that? Oh, someone. Can you make a Sonic game or part two to Dr. Mario's? Oh, life? thank you, unnamed YouTuber, for the five dollars. A Sonic game? I might do a Sonic, but it's horror. Dr. Mario's Lab Two is also on the possibilities. I'm not sure about either yet. Sonic could be cool though. I don't necessarily want to do a sequel just yet to the first one. I'm doing Minecraft at the moment. So I'll show you that later. Um, sh okay, so this one, I actually quite like this. Uh, but I, I don't like the stealth mechanic because I made one for the Minecraft game and it's really hard. So I'm not doing that again. Uh, or, well, I'll do some sort of stealth, actually. We'll do... Okay, let's see. What... Let's say, what are the monsters that are chasing us and reducing our sanity because i'm guessing that we don't actually take damage like they don't attack us it's just when they see us we like they like cthulhu death glare us and then we are stupid now <laughs> we lose our sanity and we'll say we have like five sanity here are a few ideas uh okay that's a few i'm only making one so let's put it up to a vote what are the options? Ghost Nurse, Hallucinator. So, the Shadow Stalker lurks in the darkness, moves swiftly and silently, relentlessly pursuing the player. As it draws closer, your sanity diminishes, accompanied by eerie whispers. So it just follows you around. That's the easiest to implement, for sure. Uh, the Crawler is a grotesque creature that scuttles on all fours, resembling a twisted human with elongated limbs and a distorted face. So, so it's a hound from the back rooms. Uh, as it draws close... Nope, that was the wrong one. It inhabits narrow corridors and vents. Bum, 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 bum. Among us? Suspicious! <laughs> Making unsettling clicking sounds as it moves. Well, I'm a fan of that one too, actually. Uh, 
which which monster shadow stalker crawler um the hallucinator uh, i'm vetoing that one because what well, it manipulates the player's perception and induces hallucinations that's hard to program <laughs> Distorts their senses, making it difficult to distinguish between reality and illusion, leading to a significant drop in sanity. I guess it could, like, blur the vision, but I don't think that'd be very fun. And then Ghost Nurse, that sounds like a boss, because she haunts specific areas of the hospital. She triggers events, and being near her causes sanity to deteriorate. So we will leave Hallucinator in. I, I kind of know what I'd do with it. Ghost. Ghost Nurse. Now, this is only if we actually pick this game to do. Which monster? Shadow Stalker, Crawler, Hallucinator, or Ghost Nurse? Start voting. Dr. Mario's lab, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. How would I make 10 of those games? I don't know that there's enough Mario monsters. Okay, Shadow Stalker. We'll, we'll, we'll go Shadow Stalker, 46% of the vote. That's an easy win, so let's ask it. Okay, we'll use Shadow Stalker. Now, no, we'll use just Shadow Stalkers. Now give me a full summary of the game, and this is what we'll vote on. The Haunting Shadows is what it's called. So we've got Shadows of Solitude. Uh, okay, wait. It's a horror game set in an abandoned hospital. You wake up in a dimly lit room with no memory of how you got there. As you explore the eerie corridors, you discover that it has a dark and disturbing past haunted by malevolent supernatural entities known as Shadow Stalkers. Your main objective uh, is to uncover the truth. That sounds hard. Like, annoying. Oh, I guess we can do that. Okay. The truth behind the hospital's haunting. Uh, copy that for a minute. Because we're going to ask it when I'm done reading this. What is? Um, find a way to escape while preserving your sanity. So I think that we will ignore the rest of this. We're not encountering puzzles or clues. That's not what this game is about. It emphasizes exploration, stealth, and resource management. That we can work with. It's infested with shadow stalkers. They chase you. You must stay hidden, outsmart them, and avoid direct confrontations. Okay. You can use the environment to your advantage, finding hiding spots or distractions to evade the shadow stalkers. Yeah, that makes sense. As you progress, you uncover journal entries, blah, 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 blah. Journal entry. Okay, so lore pickups. Sure. Uh, limited light sources. Mm, I think we won't do this. <laughs> that sounds like annoying. Like it would be annoying because I'd have to add an inventory system. I guess we could have an item that boosts your light for like a minute. And their jump scares will just be when one gets you, you just explode the screen or something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, we'll leave off asking any more questions about it until later. Can you just go to the modeling? The modeling is the boring part of it. You're not gonna, you're not gonna like it when I model things. I have experience with this. Uh, okay, so haunting. I've just turned on caps lock. Why did I do that? The Haunting Shadows and Shadows of Solitude uh, are our current two options. Let me just ask them, or write them down. You know what, I'm starting to think we might need three hours. <laughs> and now for the last game, back to the top. If it suggests a mansion again, if you, in Eyes in the Shadows, okay, another Shadows game, you play as a character trapped inside an old abandoned mansion. Why is it always a mansion? Okay, nope. 
that I can make in two hours, not play in two hours. If you suggest a mansion game, I will unplug you. A forest, okay, <laughs> that's not a mansion. Uh, Whispers of the Grove. You play as a lost hiker who stumbles upon an eerie forest, rumored to be haunted. As night falls, you must find your way out while encountering various supernatural occurrences and terrifying enemies. Entities, I can't read. Gameplay. Exploration. Takes place in a dense forest with winding paths. You must nav navigate through the dark forest relying on a flashlight as your only source of light. That's good. Puzzles. Ignore. Audio-based horror. So just a lot of... The forest is filled with unsettling whispers, distant cries, and eerie ambient sounds that heighten the sense of dread. The imagination plays a crucial role in creating a terrifying atmosphere. So a lot of ambient audio. That's actually very easy to do. So I do like that. Um, occasionally there are supernatural entities... Like a ghost or traps from a spirit. Avoiding traps, like you don't actually meet the ghost, you just have to not stand in his traps is kind of cool. Multiple endings? No. <laughs> Delete that. Okay, let's see. Let's say we don't actually... actually see the entity. We just avoid its traps. What is the entity and suggest three possible traps? Uh, ensnaring roots, so the roots grab you and then you have to quickly react and dodge the roots. Okay. Like a quick time event, that's kind of alright. That could work. I'm not, it sounds hard, but it could work. Why is, why is chat just saying random things? It's just what they do. <laughs> okay, second possible trap. Hallucinatory fog. That sounds... Hallucin... I don't like these traps, but okay. Luring shadows. That's not... No, those are all bad traps. Ensnaring vine. This is the same three suggestions. Ensnaring vines are just the roots. Whispering shadows are just the shadows that draw you in. Illusory Pathways is just the hallucinatory fog. Okay, well, that's what Whispers of the Grove will be. So let's vote. I'm Whispers of the Grove. So just to go over them again, Shadows of Solitude is uh, this one down here. It's, it's the one I made a paint for. You go through a mansion, you match up the clock, you go to the flickering light, you die. That's the horror game, but it's kind of spooky and it's a mansion. So like it could, I think that's a pretty good one. Uh, second one, the haunted shadows, the haunting shadows, completely different. I'm sorry. The haunted shadows is something else. Uh, wait, where is it? Oh, it's down here. Um, the Haunting Shadows. It's in a hospital, it's top down, and you have to avoid the, the Shadow Stalkers. Uh, yeah, they are looking for you, and we'll name them later what they actually are, because I don't like the Shadow Stalkers. And then finally, it is The Whispers of the Grove, which is a game where we are a hiker in a forest, and there's an entity that we never see, but it's laying traps, and we have to escape. So it's basically just two or three puzzles, and they're the traps, and if you die in them, you have to restart. So, let's post that. Vote. Which game are we making made by AI? vote haunting shadows is definitely leading people want to see the hospital it seems please say hi to Wyatt hi Wyatt I'm not saying hi to anyone else <laughs> just Wyatt 
I'm getting I'm getting independent reports that uh, the lag is crazy. This is really unfortunate because I literally can't do anything about it. <laughs> Where is the lag coming from? Did the lag start after I started recording actually? <laughs> Okay, that's a, uh, I'm just gonna end the vote there. Haunting Shadows wins. We are making a hospital game. Now, for that, we're gonna wanna pull up paint again so we can do some planning. Uh, no. no, I don't need this. So, got a hospital, that's top down. So we're gonna do just a bunch of rooms like this. We'll just we'll do a fairly big map because it's pretty easy to do a map it'll be bigger than this but if you can imagine for a moment that this is the hospital with lots of these are doors obviously and if you can't tell they're doors then you're stupid <laughs> I, I, it's not that my art is bad it's that you can't read or something i'm not illiterate i feel the need to just let you know i'm not illiterate Okay, uh, pulling up chat GPT again. And just pulling it up for you guys as well. So The Haunting Shadows is a horror video game set in an abandoned hospital. Yeah, we know all that. So the main thing, we're not doing puzzles, but we will do clues. There will be lore notes that we pick up and yeah, uh, there will be lore notes that we pick up. The, em the gameplay emphasizes exploration, stealth, and resource management. So the main things we have to implement are movement, and it's top-down for this one, uh, movement and stealth, the Shadow Stalkers. So the Shadow Stalker AI is going to be a lot of today's coding, I think. So let's boot up Unreal. There's, I see the lag now. Why was the lag not? It's like really spotty lag. Uh, should we do it in, should we program in Unreal 4 or 5? I know you guys have no clue what the differences are, but let's, let's make a poll. Which version of Unreal Engine should I use? 4.27 or 5.2? 4.27 is the one I made Mario in, but 5.2 is newer. Put war! War! Evil blue potato wants a war. Guys, don't actually vote for 5.2. <laughs> I've never used 5.2. I downloaded it yesterday. <laughs> guys, guys, you're voting for 5.2 a lot. A lot of you are voting for 5.2. <laughs> Bigger number, no, no, Ocelot, bigger number, not better. <laughs> Guys. Okay, with 56% of the vote, it appears that we're using 5.2. <laughs> I guess that means I can close the 4 launcher. Open the 5 launcher. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um... So we'll get a basic prototype and then we'll make a Shadow Stalker. And, you know, well, well, we'll get into how we design him later, but rest assured he will be a good, he will be a good, um, a version, a good, no, oh, I've lost my train of thought again. Ah, uh, yes, I love when the Unreal Launcher shows me ads. Uh, library. Oh, I have 4.24. I was lying to you anyway. I don't have 4.27. Go. Five. Activate. So, um, 
pull up paint again just so we can continue summarizing. Paint! Uh, just use my immense handwriting skills. Top. Down. Top down. Stealth. Stealth. Underline that for some reason. And also, oh, this is ready. Cool. They've got a template for me. Nice. Uh, sorry, Unreal Engine just launched. We'll get to that in a second. Stealth and also there will be enemies. I spelled enemies wrong. And also there will be items. That's really important. There'll, there'll be uh, batteries that temporarily make your light super strong. Battery, I'm about to spell this wrong as well. And there will also be um, something that, what, what increases your sanity? Because it's, we're not losing health here, we're losing sanity, like how sane you are. Uh, give me some suggestions, guys. What makes you regain sanity? Oh, I can do a Q&A. What makes you regain sanity? Go. Doing a little dance for the song. Like, what do you pick up and consume? Either eating, watching, using, absorbing, that makes you get sanity back. Cookies, true. ASMR, gun. Not looking at your live chat. <laughs> that does make me regain sanity. Pills, what kind of pills, oh, uh, Ocelot? What kind of pills are you talking about? Yoga mat. Almond water. Almond water does make you regain sanity in the back rooms. But this isn't the back rooms. This is the haunting shadows. Uh, not making the Muppets out of candy. Yeah, that does actually make me not lose my sanity. Uh, small healing potions. What <laughs> suggests gun? Gun lets you not lose your sanity. That's genius. A Giga Chad bottle. What's a Giga Chad bottle? Is it like a potion bottle that looks like his head? Like the... Okay. AK-47. I see we're going with the guns theme. Um, I'm not sure that that's something that's going to stop you from going insane. I feel like it's actually going to make it worse. Uh... Getting okay, multiple pill suggestions now. <laughs> Cookies is not a bad one, actually. Because it's not pills. <laughs> chug chug. Let me let me write down some of these amazing suggestions. Uh chug? Jug. Gun? C cookie? Pills? These are the contenders. You know what? You know what we always do with contenders. We make you guys vote on them. Uh, let's just see if we've got a fifth option that's actually good. Cookies, cookies. Not making everyone Chris Pratt. How are you supposed to pick that up? <laughs> okay. And the Q&A. We're voting on these uh, YouTube videos. That's actually an amazing choice. I'm putting that one in as well. Uh, which item should restore your sanity? Cookies. Gun. Now keep in mind, if we add the gun, it's not something you can use. It's just something you pick up. And it restores your sanity. <laughs> Gun. Chug jug. Jug. Uh, oh, I can only add four options. Okay, I guess YouTube videos are not getting put in there. 
So we've got gun, chug jug, cookies, and pills. Which one restores your sanity in this AI horror game? It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. I don't see how that's relevant. Thirsty. We're getting some serious cookies votes, but this is still close. Gun could still win if it just turned a bit. You the classical um, occurrence for me, it's like when I'm going insane from all the monsters, I see a gun, I pick it up, and I just feel better. So I throw the gun away. <laughs> How does it go on? Yeah, that is the question, but obviously you just pick it up. Ah, now I see the lag button. That's sad. <laughs> Can I lower the quality and make the lag go away? Would that work? Wait, can I? Oh, yeah, I just got distracted. <laughs> um, settings, settings. Let me lower the quality. Currently is recording video, 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 video. Output is currently active. Oh, I can't shrink it. Yeah. My internet is so bad. Okay, you know what? I've got a recording <laughs> of the stream. Maybe I'll just upload it. Uh, also, I'll be making it into a video, so it's fine, my dudes. Okay, we are going to get on the way. Cookies is the winner, so we'll just draw that over. Gun. No, no gun, no chug jug, no pills. It is cookies that we will pick up. So, uh, I guess we'll get started. It's half an hour in. Pull Unreal Engine up and start by making a top-down project. Now this one's called The Haunting Shadows. Do a blueprint. Uh, we don't need the starter content. If I stop streaming for a moment, will you all come back? That's what I thought. How does that work? I just thought maybe I did something to fix the stream, the lag. Looks a bit better here. I don't know. Is that better? Is there less lag? Start a poll. Is there lag? This is rather annoying and I want to get rid of it. So I am just pausing. Hope you make a video on this game. I hope so too, although if it's lagging the whole time, I might not be able to. So, here's open. I think I should be able to make one though. Is there less lag? There's still lag. Oh my gosh, why? Why is there lag? Why does it say there is no lag and then there is lag? 28.5% of my uh, frames are being dropped. Why does it say there's no lag? 
It's weird. When I watch it, I don't get lag. Maybe the quality doesn't work. Yeah, I don't... There's a lot of... 82% of people getting lag. I need better internet for sure, but... I think for today, I'm just going to ignore it. There's a, there'll be a recording, and probably I'll make a video on this. Uh, so, if you stick through it, thank you for that. Anyway, as you can see... Unreal Engine has launched with the top-down template. That is very cool for us. Um, I've not used 5, so... Oh, you have to click to move. I want to use the WASD though. That's not ideal. Also, you're the silver guy. Look at them spin. Look at them spin. And he can't jump. That's fine. I don't want him to be able to jump. He's actually pretty good though. If a bit fast. He's a bit fast. <laughs> right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to figure out exactly how we want to move him, or like what we're gonna do. What should he look like? What should he look like, guys? Let's do another. Actually, no. Let's ask AI. This is AI making a game after all. Um, back to AI. What should the main character look like? I don't, I don't care who he is. I mean like the 3D model. Should it be low poly? What style? Etc. You can consider the following options. Low poly, realistic, intimidating, protagonist attire. Oh, so like a... Oh, these aren't the different options. Okay, uh, give me two suggestions. Stylized low poly or semi-realistic with minimalistic textures. How do you... What? Oh, okay, yeah, I get that. Uh... I kind of like low poly. What do you guys think? Uh, low poly or realistic? Realistic will be harder. I could do it. I download it off the internet. Chris P. True. Get a lot of low poly results. That's good because I can do that. But also, half of you are saying realistic, so that's less. I can do that too. Uh, give that another a minute. Wait, now Realistic's winning the vote. <laughs> Damn. Do real. Okay, fine. Realistic. Uh, I can't do realistic, so I'm gonna find one that I can do realistic. Uh, sketch fab. Can you guys see the screen? Yep, you can see enough of the screen. Uh, okay, humanoid, no, human hospital guy, that guy is swell. <laughs> it's not realistic, it's also nine dollars. Uh, hospital guy. I want to be able to download it. None of these are people. Hospital, what, what do you call, oh, doctor, no, patient, 
Mm, I don't think this guy has pants. It's not ideal. Yeah, he doesn't have pants. Mm, this guy... What's this one like? Oh, this is from Little Nightmares. I don't think I can use that. Oh, he also doesn't have a head. That's not super great. Okay. This guy looks like he's from the back rooms and he seems to be somewhat infected. Yeah, also not great. <laughs> I've got a lot of patience. Uh, these are not great. No. You know what we could do? We can look at an Unreal Engine. Window... Marketplace? Where's Marketplace? There's Marketplace. Oh, that doesn't work, right. Um. Uh. Give me the other marketplace. Give me the... Give me market. Okay, marketplace, we're back here. So we're just gonna look. Uh, hospital guy? Hos, no. Patient. Let's see if there's one in here. Those are the same as the other one. Okay. Well, also they're all $50. Ah! <laughs> A sad day for us indeed. Why is it a white screen? Refresh. What is this? Oh, I see, I see, I see. The I'm not used to OBS yet. Add Garden of Bam Bam Monster. No, I won't. <laughs> I hope that helps you with your quest to understand me. Just model it yourself, but I can't model realistic myself. I can model low poly myself. I guess we could do that. Okay, we'll do that. Blender. Don't expect anything beautiful though. Um, <laughs> now we have to do this quickly because I'm just noticing that it's almost an hour in and that's no good. So let's go ahead and speed run it. Shrink there. Ooh. A mirror. Give him a bit of a chest. Uh, boundary. There we go. Clipping, please. That that's handy later. Wow, this is beautiful. I need to stop turning on caps lock. 
Okay, then we give him arms by T-posing him. And we give him a big, big clobberers. Know what happened there? Big clobberers. Then insert this, but instead of that thing we did before, we'll do that. feet only this time we'll also add that's not cool man there we go that's beautiful chonkers bro is ready There are hidden faces. I hate them. Hate the hidden faces, man. What is happening here? nonsense that I seem to have created for myself. Oh, I like this song. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Give the player an axe or a gun. No, I won't. <laughs> that would go against the spirit of a horror game. Oh, we need eyes, of course. Uh... Okay, so we'll scale one down. And then, okay, that's an eye. Probably needs two eyes, honestly. Like, I like having two eyes, so he probably would too. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do something a, a bit of a neat trick. Um, needs us to do a couple of things. We need to go here, set background to transparent, and then grab the image, okay? Actually, we'll just give him some colors first. We're, we're gonna use AI to texture. Like, this is pretty this is pretty cool stuff uh, so the first thing to do whoop, go to UVs select everything here you and project <laughs> no that's not how we project you project from view that's what we want whoop. And then we'll do the same thing for the back. You, uh, project from view. And then, yeah, so now we'll just need to lay them out. UV editing, by the way, is probably the thing 3D artists hate the most. I don't hate it. Because I'm a god. <laughs> like, I'm a god among men. But I know some people who do. Can make this bigger. Anyway, the idea is to make these as big as possible without going over the edges. That's good enough. So now, we're just gonna give him some colors. 
uh, we'll assign this to here to be the short. These will be another one which we'll call pants. Wait, actually, we don't need to. Oh yeah, we do because we want this is not for. You'll see. Um, the reason we're making materials here arms is because that'll let us color it and that'll teach the AI what we want. Like that will say to the AI, this is the this is the base color. And call this head. And then actually uh, just quickly white and black for the eyes. Assign these to white, uh, these to black, and then make them actually the right colors. You can have a blue shirt, sure. You can have dark red pants. His arms, I will say his arms are the same color as his head, actually. Wow, beautiful, beautiful man. Let's do a bit of polishing to keep his pants moving nicely. Okay, this is our man. What, everyone rate him. What do you rate him out of 10? What do you, you guys, you guys can hear me. What do you rate him out of 10? Nice, okay. Okay, now we do the thing I was doing before. Uh, view. Here we go, view. Render image. And then save it. As guy now we need to pull up my stable diffusion copy diffusion where's my stable diffusion uh, there it is uh, it'll take a minute to launch it is now launching pull open my AI tab this is where we'll do it Local host. That's it's hosted locally. Uh, okay, then we've got. What am I? Is it launched yet? Not launched yet. Give it a minute. Well, we have a minute, guys. How's your day? Six minutes in. Okay, we don't have time to ask how your day is. Don't tell me. I don't need to know. Can you make him Johnny? Because he looked like a father. Sure. His name's Johnny. What engine do you use? Uh, Unreal Engine 5. That's what you voted on. <laughs> so, yeah. I've never used 5 before, but that is what I'm using. Oh, I'm on the wrong address. Uh, here we go. Can you guys see all of that? You can't see any of that? Huh. Put that, scale it in a bit. Uh, you guys are obscuring the image, so I'm putting you down here. Okay. Now, we are going to go ahead and really quickly, I'm just going to use a or get some stuff done real quick don't worry about it don't even worry my dudes don't sweat it I just remembered that I have to crop him to square page crop okay guy oh did I get a donation 
is Jacob. I love your lives. Oh, thank you, Jacob. My oh my live streams. Okay. I thought that was a threat. I love your life, Finn. I'm going to take it, Finn. <laughs> thank you for the donation. Very slick and cool of you. Okay. Did I not save it? I didn't save. Uh, we're calling him John. That's his name, guys. Some rando decided it. I don't remember your name, I'm sorry. John. Now. What, uh... We'll use the stylized one. What prompts should I give to stable diffusion to generate art or textures for him? Generate a stylus texture for the main character's clothing. No, to generate textures for him, a texture of the whole body. So describe what he looks like there. Hopefully that'll teach him a lesson. Whoa. Don't look over there. I don't think there's anything that really matters. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Generate. Yeah, this is all beautiful. This will definitely work. Get generator. Oh, I can generate two at a time. <laughs> so that's kind of cool, actually. But it didn't really work. Let's generate a bunch more. Um, the other thing to do, I think if I reduce denoising strength. And generate, I think we should get a better uh, shown thing. Yeah, we did, but too much so. Like, these are cool, but they look basically the same. That was not the one I need to change. Bring this up a bit. <laughs> I like how the AI says things like, feel free to add stylized patterns or markings that fit the game's eerie atmosphere. It's like, okay. I'm not doing it, but okay. Bro, who was, who was that? Did you guys see? I actually like this one a lot. It, it's it's pretty much perfect. It's just it's the back of his head instead of the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna save this one. Uh, John back, because we'll use that as the back and then make that the image to image. Increase that a lot, but we will make that the in paint. We're gonna make it redraw here to be why is this black? It's usually not. Okay. And just face. <laughs> just put a face there, please. Just place a face. Finn, it's been an hour. If I were you I'd start making the map. I'm gonna be honest, I think we're do I think we're going for three hours to <laughs> Uh, the map is actually really easy to make. <laughs> this is the hard part. That's why this is first. Techno Twitch, you're back again. Hey, hey Techno, hey Techno Twitch. I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to pay you. <laughs> he looks a bit. Uh, like this is good. He just looks a bit like a racist. <laughs> Let me try again. Let me try a different one that doesn't look so characterish. Finn, I'll give you two dollar if you go Ohio. It would cost a thousand dollars for a ticket to Ohio. Are you still in the lore community? Uh, I don't. I was never a lore person. How's the lag, by the way? Is that gone? Kind of looks like it's gone from my point of view. But it never looked like it was here. So. Okay. 
I honestly like this face. It's funny. Like, he's blue, which is wrong. But on the flip side, he has two cute little eyes. Make him bald? No. I, I already generated the back of his head and it had hair, so he's having hair. I think we'll go with this one as well. Ah, uh, we'll give it another 10, actually. I'll save this one. John front, maybe? And then... Let's give it one more go. Uh, let's increase that, see what happens. Interesting choice of the AI to give him a block-faced head. It's really smart that the AI doesn't do anything. Oh, you know what we can do, though? If we actually draw on it ourselves. Start drawing. Uh, give him. Oops. Give him some less hair. He doesn't need that much hair. And then give him little eyes. Give him a big, <laughs> a big smile. Then copy this image to InPaint. We can just copy here, and we can go, we can, we can hit it. Did my music end? Oh, it's been an hour, my music ended. Damn, let's, let's hit up a level. This is the same one. Okay, it's fine. How's the, how's the AI going? That's so much worse. Oh, wait, I didn't. I didn't change it to face. That one was kind of cool though. Kind of scary. Unfortunately, it's the wrong, the wrong look, so I'm going to delete it. How's chat doing? Are you guys behaving? I haven't looked at you in ages. Give him a sword. No. <laughs> Can you make a video of making a horror game using. No, wait. Lag is gone. Yeah. Okay. I had to lower the bitrate. Interesting. Give him a sword. Someone really wants to need to give him a sword. No. I'm not giving him a sword. Doesn't deserve one. Oh, it's done. Interesting. Where'd his face go? Copy image to inpaint. You know what? Let's try sending this whole thing. I kind of see what's happening. I don't really get it. I kind of see what's happening. Did that do anything? No. There's no button for... Look, we, we got it. We got textures. We're using them. <laughs> um, Blender, activate! Now we go here, okay? And we select this, and we're going to get a screenshot of that. Uh, screenshot of that. There you go, okay. Now we've got that. What we're going to do is add both of those textures to it. And then we're just gonna position them over the right thing. So first of all, we have to remove all of the black, which I'll just quickly do. 
Oh, I did not, I did not remove all the black. I need to remove all of the black. And then we need to just position them. Where did this one come from? <laughs> now, the main thing we have to keep in mind is we have to cover them entirely. So as you can see, they don't actually fit for various reasons. Uh, actually though, before we do that, we do need to clip this so it's just that part. Scroll down, add to selection. And then crop. Easy enough. Easy. It's not just easy. It was easy wheezy. Super easy. Lock that. I forgot that we have eyes <laughs> modeled on. We can just use those. Okay, so... Next thing to do is use the liquify tool just to stretch it over everything. Like in Minecraft. This is how they probably made the Minecraft textures, for being honest. Because if it's not over, there'll be weird gaps in the texture. And while I don't care that much if there are gaps, because it's going to be so far away, I'd rather there aren't. So we're going to just try and fix them in advance. Just little micro movements. You guys can see this, right? Yeah. But ugly face. The face will be covered. He just, it's blue for some reason. Maybe I'll paint over it, actually. Will this game be playable after the stream? Yeah, it will be. Oh, that's the front one done. Oh, the back one done. Now we just need to do the front. Like that. Bring it in and do the same thing we just did. Oh, I didn't actually do over here. Hang on. Gotta cover the feet too. That looks so bad. Yeah, you probably couldn't tell the difference, but I was not liking that. Beautiful uh, up there. I hope these line up nicely. They won't. I hope they do. <laughs> I hope this is a good video. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that, hello editor, that I'm going to need cut or like fast forwarded through. Actually, I wouldn't even talk about the correcting the textures part. That's kind of boring. I'm sure the viewers wish they didn't have to watch it. Okay, bring the ear back in just a bit. And you know what we'll do is we will hide that. We're gonna draw over that. We don't need this and the eyes won't be colored by the AI anyway. Okay, and then this is going to be John Texture. We're an hour and 12 minutes in and we've just made the first character. Love that. 
Love that so much. Give him, you, you guys are saying give him all these things as if I have time to do anything but this. Uh, and now we're just going to remove all of these materials. Don't need them. And call this John. And John here needs a image texture. that I'm going to find. John Texture, I hope this works. Ayo. AI Textured. AI Textured well. Thank you, AI. You've done it again. Very cool. <laughs> now, we'll save this into The Haunting Shadows Ooh. content. Uh, player. John Giant.blend, I spelled that wrong. And then I need to make an FBX file version of it. For Unreal. But I know you're thinking, good. Finn, aren't we gonna animate it? Yes, we're going to animate it using, I think it actually does use AI. Uh, Mixamo.com, love this website. Please sponsor me. Can you time out beggars? Yeah, <laughs> they're spamming. They're spamming, you know. Anyway, I love Mixamo, please sponsor me. <laughs> I probably shouldn't show you the login screen. <laughs> Luckily, no passwords were shown. Uh, are we in? Are we in? Are we in? Not, no, I think I might have just used the wrong Adobe account. That's fine. That's fine, man. We're back. We are back and more than we've ever been back. Upload a character. Uh, <laughs> player John. Jo Johin. His new name is Johin. Johin. I like to call him. Jo Johnny looking good. No, Johan is his name. <laughs> yep, yeah, that is what he looks like. If even if it did, maybe forget to give him his texture. That's fine. Elbows right there, of course. Knee there. Groin. Uh, he doesn't need fingers. Oh, I see. He's got a little spike at the back of his neck. <laughs> Don't worry about it. He's spinning. <laughs> Their auto rigger algorithm. This is the AI part of it. Please work. Oh, it worked. Nice. Now we'll find a idle animation. He's looking a little bit chubby. Uh, that's fine. I don't care. I don't discriminate. Uh, perfect. <laughs> Boop. And then a sneak. This is a little bit goofy. <laughs> Every time he walks, he goes like this. <laughs> that would be very funny, actually. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to find those two. Oh, that's the wrong Unreal. Okay. Uh, no, don't bother importing that. 
I accidentally opened up the other Unreal. Time to make the game. <laughs> the actual game, for real. You'd totally play this game? I would too if it existed. So, importing, we want to create everything here. Here, we're gonna hopefully ignore that. I can't tell if the animation came through. No, it didn't. Why didn't the animation come through? Reimported. We've got SK. Actually, you know what we can do is hide this and import those two to Blender. You guys aren't on Blender. Blender. Yeah, the game development needs four or five different applications. Here we go. So, this is the walk. You gotta walk the walk. We also sometimes have to talk the talk. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, dope sheet. This will let us actually look at the two actions. So this one should be called idle. This one should be called walk. And now I can delete this one because this one contains both idle and walk. And then we have to re-export all of this um, to do that. I'm actually going to delete it from in here. Force delete. I don't need them. Oh, that, maybe I should use Unreal 5. That was way faster than 4. And then export FBX. Johin. This time we include the armature as well. And there we go, a new thing has been imported. Nothing happened in Unreal. I have to give it a different name here. Oh, I forgot to put my chat back. Is chat good over here? Actually, I like what chat was. You guys stay over there, stay in the corner. Can you make a boss? No. <laughs> I'm already at an hour 20. Even if we do three hours, we're halfway there. I was going to get someone to play it, but I don't actually have any friends. So <laughs> maybe I'll let you guys play it on stream. We'll see. I think it will take too long to upload. Unreal. Okay. Import. Import all. Where's my animations? Oh, actually, I don't know that they... No, there are no animations. Okay, that's good to know, because I was not sure how 5 works. Why didn't this work? He's a big guy. He's got a very obvious problem there. We're going to ignore that, though. At least we can stand beside him. This is so stupid. Okay, this isn't going to work until we get the animations here. So... You are a goofy YouTuber. Well, you're a goofy watcher, so there. Ha! <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I can't think of better jokes. Uh, 
I genuinely am not entirely sure how to do this. Hang on. How to import animated FBX to UE5. Well, this is UE4 documentation. I want to look at the 5.2 and documentation. Animations must be exported oh, individually with one animation per skeletal mesh in a single file? What? That can't be right. Let me... Let me delete all of this, including that. This, no, that can't be it because I'm only getting. I'm not even getting one animation. I'm getting no animations. We're baking animations in. You guys can't see I'm doing that, but I am. Uh, back to Unreal. You have trauma from Among Us, don't we all? You're not special. <laughs> um. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't click the import animations button. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go. Let's go. There we go. He's idle. He's idle. What about walk? This looks so stupid. It's perfect. It's, it's just perfect, guys. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Um, let me just check that I haven't been pinged 40 times. On Discord. I have not. Okay, and uh, what is this? Wait. Oh, this doesn't work the way I would like it to. <laughs> okay. Oh, which one? Which way should we code it? Uh, I want to actually ask you guys. How does the player move? Right? Do they use WASD or click to click to move to a point? Click to move to a point already in the game, so obviously it'll be easier. <laughs> Beggars are making idea, but the title said that the AI can only make the idea. That one guy has the idea. Is correct, yes. Do the monster now? Yeah, we're about to. Uh, no, guys, 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 come on, come on. WASD, really? Yuck. Yuck. Click to a point. Mm, yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, okay, 72% of you. Uh, this is not happening the way I wanted to. <laughs> Uh, uh, so 75% now. Okay, great. Love that. Uh, alrighty then. I think the way forward. I don't know what to do next, actually. The monster or the movement? The way I see it, we're actually going to make some text. We're going to write down a to-do list. This music is loud. Or <laughs> the other ones. To do. To do. That's way too big. Can we can we just add a background color? Uh, 
Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh yeah, I have to write down that I just spent some <laughs> moments formatting. Okay, make enemy model. Shrink that way down. Uh, fix player movement. Wasda. Classic word. Make pick up items. Make make map. I feel like if we do all of that, we're actually pretty much set. I've got an hour and a half. Give you a shout out? No. <laughs> make a true ending. There is going to be a true ending. You walk out the door. I guess I should add that too, actually, that's going to be annoying to code. Uh, make map, and then make ending. It's taking up a lot of the screen. Let me put this somewhere less annoying. Now it's taking up an annoying corner of the screen that no one cares about anyway. Or we'll put it down there actually. So, which one first? Ah, you guys probably want to see the enemy model, but like... What makes sense for the video? Am I right? Am I right guys? What would be fun in the video? Okay, first I'm going to fix the player's movement because as it stands, right now it just moves to where you click. It makes a little icon, but we want to make it move with the WASD keys, or the arrow keys. So the way we'll do that is by opening up player uh, characters. Or not. Oh, it's in here. It's in top down. Uh, blueprints. Character. This guy. Well, it will be in here. Right now, the code is in this guy. Destination input and mapping context, right? We don't want to do it this way. We are going to delete all this code. It's actually super simple. <laughs> this is actually a really good code. <laughs> Damn, man. Delete the follow. We don't need that either. We don't need that. We don't need any of these functions or numbers or anything, right? Can I even enhance enhanced? This bad boy is what we need first. So we're gonna add a mapping context. So the way to do that. I just want to take this out. Take that out of there. And call this game BP, because that's what I am used to. Uh, we won't need this. Anyway, now when I run it, nothing will happen because I just turned off all controls. So, input, or we'll, we'll use the same mapping context. This is how we get input, basically. And instead of this, we now want to create... Oh my god, that's so annoying. Why does it work like this? Uh, new folder, call this input, and we'll call it move forward. And this one we'll call move right. Huh? Oh, I see. Uh, don't worry about it, guys. And for move right, we're going to have the 
D, which I have to scroll through gamepad. And we're also gonna have A, which I also have to scroll through gamepad. And for move forward, we're gonna have W. I no longer have to scroll through gamepad. And S, I have to scroll through gamepad for some reason. There's no S in gamepad, but I have to scroll through it anyway. And that's the keys. Setting behavior. Now, I think I have to add one here. Oh my god, what is this? Wait, what? I don't even understand how this works. I'm used to four, and then you guys voted I should use five instead. Okay, wait. How to move with WSD E5. Uh, input. <laughs> Here's someone whose code is not working, but it might be right ish. Oh, they've added a trigger. What? What is this? This is so much more complicated than the other one was. Trigger down. Okay. When the key is down, there should be no modifiers for W. Okay, I think I get it. This is still very silly. Um, there should be a modifier for this negate. A D should be down. No modifier. So, what that does, D is just. I mean, the, the down just means when this key is pressed. So when the letter, when the key, D key is pressed, go down. But when the D key is pressed, this will trigger as a value of one. When the A key is pressed, uh, this will also trigger. And because we're going to negate it, it'll be at a value of negative one. I think. Then I'm going to copy all this and put it in here instead. And then what, if I, can I map in context? Move forward? Yeah, I can go move forward and move right. Uh, and then I can use this character movement and go move, I think. Or not. I thought there was something I could do just to move. <sighs> Components. Ah, movement. Mm, that didn't work. Can I walk? Look, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I don't know which thing to use, so I'm opening my old project. I'm gonna look at that. You're not gonna be able to see it. Live chat's the best? Yeah, I know. For losing your sanity. Ahaha. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Uh, my old code, movement code. Move. Here we go. Okay, we go add movement input to myself. 
add movement input. I think it'll be triggered. I'm triggered. And what direction? Uh, we should be moving forward. We should be going uh, get world forward. No. Make. Actually, we can just split this. Wait. Okay, which way is forward? Along the X axes. Okay, so X, 1. Split struct pin. X, 1, the other two, 0. Uh, how do I get the... How do I get the value out of it? Okay, now I'm really confused. That's handy. Um, hold? No, it's down. But how do I how do I tell it that this move forward? Oh, I probably have to go in here and set this as a a range and not a there okay it's a float that's what I need to do so basically what it was saying was it, it was previously just to check to see if the key was down but I want to know which key is down like W or uh, the other one <laughs> S close all of these don't need them at the moment now I've got a value that we can plug into X Okay, please tell me this will work. Uh, value for this one into Y. Oh, wait, this does work. That was it? Damn, that was easy. There's no jump, but there doesn't need to be because it's not gonna be multiple levels. Bro. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> We've got 80 minutes left. Okay, well, that's one of five things on the list. This is gonna be quicker than I thought. I don't think it's gonna be that much quicker than I thought. But it will be quicker. Now we've got to make the enemy model, we've got to make the pickup items, we've got to make the map, and we've got to make the ending. I think it makes sense to make the map next. I have a really important question. Is there a dirty mattress in your house that Normie sleeps on? No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not... I'm not uh, the subject to know uh, what Normie does with his life. Why are you guys saying yo ambush? Is someone spamming ambush? How does he stream for hours and never has to take a... It's been two hours, so... It's not that long. <laughs> make ending. Bro, do you want me to make the game first? Or just make the ending? 20 minutes? No, it's three hours now. We're having three hours to do it. It's the, we get three hours. It's great like that. I love the way things go like that. Ugh. I'm really happy that this worked. <laughs> okay, we'll stop that. Let's make a map. We To do that, we're going to go back to Blender. Oh, actually, let, let's switch the model first so it looks good. So to do that, we're going to go back in here. This actually might be pretty easy, honestly. If we go to characters, SKM, this is the one we're using. Okay, we're gonna have to make a new animation blueprint. Well, let's start by going ahead and picking Johan. 
Okay. Beautiful. Now, scale him to fit the box that he's sitting in. This is pretty important, because... Well, it just is. And for animation... Put that down there. Now we'll make our own blueprint. Player, create a animation blueprint for Johin's skeleton called ABP underscore Johin. Now this, we want it to look like this. <laughs> Set references to only. Can we just? Oh, we can! Epic! Oh, wait, no, that's 50 errors. Okay. Well, I just have to make all of these. I suppose I can just, like. Can I just. Make this one work for a different thing. Because I'd love to just use... so many what is all this nonsense man use ABP for different uh, skeletal mesh do is promote this to a variable called character uh, character just like that then we'll get its character movement and promote that to a variable called movement component delete the old code that did the exact same thing but doesn't work because we don't have those variables and now when I compile none of those errors go away so I have to delete them I have to delete them and put them back and then ground speed uh, is also important What did this one say? Event blueprint. You can do that? <laughs> Get character. I didn't know you could do a is valid thing. That's crazy. Okay, this is almost correct, but uh, we have to check if but we have to do some more variables. So, should move is falling and I don't know what this is. I can't get velocity, what? Velocity. Oh, I have to. Right. 
uh, promote a variable called velocity. So the reason we're doing all this, it's probably not super obvious because this is fairly complicated looking. Um, the reason we're doing all this is because we want to make the animation obey the movement. So as you move more, you animate more. Uh, promote a variable and call this ground speed because that will hopefully fix some of these errors. <laughs> the problem is you're not actually allowed to just do that. You have to do it like this. You have to do it really weird. So set should move to all of that and set. And the reason we're getting a bunch of, uh, I have to set this. Check. So what's happening here is we're just checking in the animation blueprint. Are we moving? Are we falling? How fast are we moving? And then those are those those are set. And then off of those numbers, we can like, yeah. What is? <laughs> let me answer a question. It's cool. What is going to be the name of the game? The Haunted Shadows was what the AI came up with. Finn, say E if you think we are all cool. We are all cool. Every person is cool. Peace. I might leave. No, please! <laughs> don't you specifically leave. Please don't leave. Uh, did that... Is that going in? Oh, that's weird. Uh, okay, now we go to the anim graph to copy those over. This has something called a control rig. Now, I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to make one. I'm just going to get ground speed greater than one. And then branch. How do you check? What? How do I how do I make a check? <sighs> uh, look, we could just idle, and then he's always idling. Just look at him. We can also walk, and he's always walking. Like, if we were to run this now, he's always idling, but that's because I didn't actually set this to use a blueprint. This blueprint. And now, he'll always be sneaking, although it isn't always going to be playing because that animation doesn't loop by default. That isn't even the problem, okay. Why? Why is it not looping? Do I have to put it to loop in here? Oh, I do. You see? He moves. Now, he, obviously he moves too fast and a bunch of other things, but for the moment, this is pretty good. But we want it so that when he stops moving, he chills out and switches to this. So how do we switch? So Blend. I think we can blend poses by bool. Yeah, there we go. True pose. False pose. Uh, where did I put my... Did I delete the thing? Ground speed greater than zero. Two. One. Okay, so now he's not 
animating at all. Do love that. Oh, that would be why. Okay, that's that's really cool actually. <laughs> he looks so stupid when he hunches over there. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. <laughs> that's so cool. Uh, okay. How are we looking on time? Hour left. Let's do the let's do the map really quickly. This won't actually be too hard because of a bunch of things. We're going to save that, make a new file. We're gonna keep this one. Now. Uh, okay. There's the floor. There's a wall. Oh, this is actually, this is gonna take a little bit of time. Let's do it in a more reasonable way. Making a intersection of corridors. Actually, that's. Um, um, how many? Discord check. What? What are we checking in Discord? going to do this first so we should you know probably be pretty good actually if we just did a bunch of rooms like a big grid of rooms and the exit is in just one of the rooms you just have to find the right room yeah I can do that <laughs> okay so to do that We're gonna make an array. Then make another array. And then... We inset this uh, using... Gotta make the vertices look nicer, it'll look weird later. Oh, wait, those are also bad. So if we just X rise these. Ah, oh, okay, so uh, do, do, do. 
Duh. If we do that. That's what we want. And then we have a whole bunch of rooms to explore. Okay. But we'll also... Just put that there and there. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, that's that's the map. Well, <laughs> we'll just the last thing I think I'll do. Apply those. I will just polish those so it's symmetrical. And those. You can see this, right? Yep. Sick, 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 sick. So, after that, I guess the only thing left... Oh no, does interior face it? No, they're meant to be there. Nope. Arr. Actually, no, they're meant to be there. It's fine. I'm just gonna make a, it's a, I'm making the game in three hours actually. This doesn't need to be that good. Okay, and then finally, this will be the level. Or not, what happened there? Oh no, no, I know what happened, I don't like it. Get. Someone came in. <laughs> oh, I was quiet for ages, wasn't I? I was I was concentrating. Um Did I add more rooms? I, I did, but then I deleted them. Uh because this is not working just yet. 
but we are about to add more rooms again. For various reasons, this didn't work quite how I would like it. But it now will. So this is not behaving at the moment. Can I just... Array. Wait, could I just do that? That's even simpler. Oh, that's simpler. Is simpler always better though? It is. This is the map. If you don't like it, tough. Uh, file. Uh, as far as materials go, we'll just make the background black. That works. Uh, export. We're gonna export these two as map. Uh, we'll put them just directly in. That's not gonna work. So I'll just overwrite that one. Save this as well. Not a skeletal mesh. It will not build its nanite. I don't know why it thought it was a skeletal mesh. That's for animated meshes. You were going to donate. How are those boxes a horror game? They are not a horror game. <laughs> they are the map for the horror game. I'm not going to pretend like it's going to be some sort of Im 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 imaginative scary game. AI made it. Time's Original time is up. You're not wrong. But luckily, it's now three hours and a half. <laughs> no, it's not three and a half hours. It is, however, possibly getting longer. Uh, we can get rid of the map now. Yay! Uh, <laughs> Wait. Oh, I didn't exported them individually there that'll teach you a lesson blender Okay, so this, it apparently is the map, it doesn't look too good. Luckily, Genius Finn is a genius, so he's just gonna go fix this real quick. Uh, 
Uh, so what's happened is the normals have been flipped, which is basically just all of the, the pieces that make it up are inside out. Or like half of them more, which is why it looks so weird. I don't need both. Okay, and then we just bring that in. And maybe get rid of all of this stuff. Don't need navigation, don't need pillars. Don't need navigation at all. We don't actually need this lighting necessarily, but I'm gonna leave that for the most moment. I don't need this text that says top-down template. The post-process volume we will keep. Because I want to turn this on. You look at that effect. <laughs> I like that in Argus, so we're just going to put it on right a bit. And then so we don't just immediately fall to our death. Now you'll notice that I'm walking on top of it, not inside, like I would like. That is because I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, I know this. Uh, SM, no, this is M map. And the way to do this is to go collision Collision complexity, use complex collision as simple. Now I can stick my head through the wall, but I can't go through it. And now you can see we can kind of sneak around. So there's a couple of things I think I want to change. The camera probably needs to be further out. Or actually, we can just make the map smaller. It's a little big. Just a little bit big. Now it's a little bit small. Also, I want it to be this way. Okay, it, it now may be a little bit small. Yeah, that's a little bit small. But then again, you want to be hiding from the enemies. Right? Like, what well, if there's an enemy right there? Okay, it's a little small. It's a little bit small. I also think the character's camera, which is up there, needs to look at him a bit more. So I'm looking at him much less. That's definitely not what I wanted. Spring arm. That's pretty good, but it's a little too far, I think. I don't really know how to do this part, so I just do it like this. But I think this is pretty good. Like, this is the gameplay. You sneak. So the first thing we'll do now is just take his walk speed and bring this way down. Half the speed, I think. Yeah, that looks better to the animation, and also it's more realistic. No fooing, that's not right. I, I'm currently, Barry, just giving myself an hour extra, but honestly, I just want to finish it, so could be more than an hour. 
Like, whatever finishes it, I feel like we'll do. And on that note, let's make... Let's actually do the lighting, just to finish the map properly. So to do that, we're going to delete the directional light, making it pitch black. And to the character, we will add a point light. Parent socket. <laughs> we'll add it to his left hand. His left hand just glows with the magic of a the magical power. <laughs> This is pretty sick, actually. I wouldn't lie and say it wasn't, but I think it's better if it doesn't actually do that. <laughs> um, and instead just kind of floats above him, probably. Like right there, or even a bit up. So it's like, yeah, that's the way to go. And then what we'll do is there'll be two power-ups, one that increases your sanity, or maybe one that we might lose the... the, the oh, I don't, we'll probably do the sanity one. Yeah, we will. And there'll also be one that increases your light for a minute. And yeah, the rooms do all look the same. We might decorate them. Okay, so I'm just gonna move the camera again. <laughs> I wanna be able to see. Can't see anything. What is that? Huh? Wait, can I not? Oh my god, I can't see it when it's like this. Okay. Detail lightning. Nope. Mm, reflections. No. I, I want to be able to see it with like some lights. Okay, fine. Uh, another thing I wanted to do was just add like a bunch of image effects. A vignette. Doesn't really do anything. Oh, it does. Put the darkness around the corners. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we increase the chromatic or aberration and let it start. Actually, that'd be a nice effect as you get more insane. The chromatic aberration increases. So, this is your super insane moment. And this is when you're saying, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Or it could be, at the moment, we'll just set it to full. Bloom. Bloom's pretty cool because it makes the lights more bright. Bloom makes the lights look better and kind of foggier. It will overall increase the appearance of these dark gray holes. Okay, well, that's enough faffing about. Time to... Yeah, we'll do the enemy model now. Why not? AI should generate some of this. Oh, I'm still on my... Help me out. Okay, so... What should the shadow stalker stalkers look like? <clears throat> every horror game has like a 
Every horror game has a spooky and creepy monster. I need to record this for the YouTube video. Oh, I see. We, we maybe lost our mods. Uh, bong. Be gone, person. Every mod... <clears throat> huh? what, am I, what am I trying to say in this one? Everyone knows... Everyone knows every good horror game needs a spooky monster that is also very easily marketable. So, we're going to ask ChatGPT to make a marketable Shadow Stalker monster. What should the Shadow Stalkers look like? They need to be cutesy. They, oh, not cutesy. They need to be marketable as toys to the children because that way we'll make more money. Children, so we can make money. Let's go. Uh, they are sleek humanoid silhouettes standing approximately six inches tall. Really? That seems very small. Their eyes are the most striking, striking feature, I still can't read, glowing in vibrant colors like blue, green, or purple. To add an interactive element, they can light up oh, with the toy. Okay, yeah, I like this. I like these. Let's do this. I have an idea for what they'll look like. In Blender. And we're going to do that by actually not the same way as normal. I think the best way to do this would be with a sphere. Convert to mesh. And then we're going to go to sculpting. And we're going to get the grabber tool. Grab. Go look at the front. Turn on din topo. Now what we're doing here, if you pay attention, I mean this is not working right now, but it will in just a moment. Just let me get some details here. Where? What we're doing basically is making him <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> this is actually what they should not look like. Okay, I'm gonna just erase that. No, they're gonna have arms. That will make them look different. And we're just pulling out his arms a bit. And then we'll get him another arm over here. That was a lot easier because I used the right tool instead of the wrong tool. Classic Finn mistake using the wrong tool. Just flatten it out a bit. And we'll just Shrink the head. Looks like a super battle droid a bit. Oh, these look weird. Can we just do a quick fix of the legs? Quick 
grabber, snake grabber. Uh, and then we'll take the crotch area, I don't know what you call it, and pull it up, give him a really tall legs. I want him to have like no, no body. It's gotta be a cartoon character. Well, that didn't really work, but there's our Shadow Stalker model. <laughs> that there. Uh, it doesn't have eyes because it's just a little creepy. Well, it does have eyes, but they're little glowing points that will make in a different way in a minute. So shadow stalker body. You'll see there. I have an idea for them, but I think will be sick. Why did I do that? You could seal that, right? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll go back to OpenAI. This time, returning to Mixamo. Oh, we got a donation. Show Mauna. Say Show Mauna if you agree. Show Mauna? <laughs> uh, show Mauna, indeed. Thanks for the donation. Um, Leet Haxor. Normie, what the heck? What are you talking about? Did I miss a donation? That revenue is higher than I remember. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, uh, currently gonna upload the Shadow Stalker. Uh, it's in here, there we go. Now this one's not symmetrical, so we're gonna have to adjust for that. Hopefully it can figure it out. <laughs> yep, that is the Shadow Stalker. Uh, that can go there, then stop using symmetry. It doesn't really have a head as such. In fact, I'm gonna put the chin up here so it doesn't do head animations. Because I don't want head animations, I just want cool animations. No fingers. <laughs> this looks so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid looking. <laughs> oh, I see. What the hell? Why, what the hell? I'm not making woolly. <laughs> I do not like woolly. No, I don't care about woolly. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, right, this has to be on the mesh. Uh, okay, put it. I guess we'll put it here. My music left. Is that why you're all leaving? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> And there's only going to need to be one animation, I think. Chase, I don't know, hunt. These are all just poses. Arr. Okay, fine, run. It wants us to do a run. Why is it running sideways? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this stupid little. That's funny. 
That's the one. Thank you, AI. Thank you, AI, indeed. Uh, back to Blender. Back to Blender and we grab fastrun.fbx and we'll just hide this one. Rename this to Shadow Stalker. And then we import the export these to uh, Unreal. We'll need the armature as well. Okay, Unreal Engine, import. We want to create a new material. This is a skeletal mesh. We want to import the animations. All good. I don't know why it wants me to import twice. But hopefully it's not a problem. That was a problem. That did not work. Why didn't that work? Save everything. Okay, delete all that then, and we'll make a new folder called, oh I know what happened, probably, it, it tried to import the old one and then that one didn't have a skeleton and it didn't work. So instead, we'll put it in here, yeah, well, I mean, you guys can't see, but we'll do a different way. And now we get this funny fella. And what we'll do, just put one there. We'll make them. I was thinking of them being way shorter, but they're actually way scarier if they're that big. <laughs> That's... That's honestly really creepy. Okay, we're doing them that big. I actually like the color too. Honestly, they look just gray. They don't really stand out too much. We'll make them a little smaller. Actually, no, we won't do anything yet. So, create a blueprint, a character, call it BP Shadow Stalker, and then create a blueprint. AI character. It's not a thing. Didn't think so. A controller. I call it AIC Shadow Stalker. And I should have called this AI Shadow Stalker because it is an AI. For the mesh, we'll use Shadow Stalker and it will always be running. They never stop. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, and now we've got a couple things to do. Uh, we've got to set the We have to sit the controller somehow. Oh, it's in here, is it? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Thought we could set the controller here, but I don't see a way to. Ah, there. Uh, we want to use the Shadow Stalker controller. And the Shadow Stalker controller. Time to do some AI stuff. We need a behavior tree. BT. This is the most complicated part of the process where we make our own AI. Uh, Blackboard Shadow Stalker. He, this is not happening in three hours, guys. <laughs> I don't think anyone's playing this today, actually. I won't have time to run it through. I'll upload it and then I'll find someone to play it for the rest of the video. Anyway. Yes, two hours was my time limit, but that is flexible. 
<laughs> it's become flexible anyway. Uh, run behavior tree. Okay, the dude is running. He is kind of menacing. Oh yeah, I said I was going to do eyes. Here's how we're going to do eyes. I didn't mention it. We're going to start by creating a uh, particle system. New system from... Sure. This is weird. I don't don't know what all this is. Uh, let's just do that. Okay, um, then we add a particle system. Call it floater, floaters. What does that look like? Oh, that's cool. It creates an effect around them. That wasn't what I meant for the eyes, but I'll do that as well. Uh, for the eyes, I want two little glowing fires, basically. Can we... Oh, do you have a fire? No, obviously they don't, but... <coughs> fire eyes, baby. Uh... Nope, I don't want to do it from scratch. I want to do the one I saw. I definitely saw one that looked fine. This one. Fire eyes real. Okay, this is definitely not eyes of fire. So turn off gravity. Um, emitter, how do I change the color? Scale alpha, yeah. Oh no, it's saying there's no, okay. Can I add color here? Nope. Where do I add color? Color. Aha! Ah, now there you go. There they go, there they go. And we will just slow the velocity down. Okay, now we'll do the same thing, except we'll spell it correctly. Eyes. That is laggy, man. What is what is causing the lag there? Is it the particles? Oh, they. Create light. Huh? I don't want them to cast light. Or is it is it the post processing?
Oh, it is. Damn. I don't want to remove that, though. I think it's very cool. <laughs> okay. That's kind of sad, though. Wait, so if I just turn these on... They don't seem to mind right now. I think I actually need to add a basic directional light. No, not that basic. Just because you can't see the, the monsters. Uh, why is the thing so annoying? Exposure, I want to Well, that's a bit too bright. It's better, um, but let's go light. This one shouldn't cast shadows, it's just a Okay, we're going, we're going. AI made this game, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Okay, the next thing, I think, if I'm being honest, that, content. If I were to be fully honest, I feel as though I've lost my code. What the hell? Where are they? Oh, here it is. Okay, that was weird. This is too close, so I'm going to move it way out. Because we want to be able to see the map. That's a lot better. Because now you'll be able to tell when they're coming. This, These lights would tell you. So, back on the AI grind of making this AI. Make Wooly and an Axolotl. You are persistent. I'm not making either in this game. Uh, what I will do is make the behavior tree. So. The way um, the Shadow Stalker works is it selects and then sequences twice. Uh, open that up as well. As far as keys go, we only need one key chasing. Right, and then for this, we'll add a decorator blackboard. Chasing is not set, so if we're not chasing, this is what we'll do. And here we'll add a decorator blackboard. Chasing is set. Now here, all we wanna do is Chaz Docker. Create a task called Chase Player. Event 
receive. To finish, execute. Simple move to actor. Get player character. Controller and goal. So I put in the controller and I put in the goal. Right? And for the actual thing, let's do it here. So chase player. And um, just to test, we'll say when he doesn't see you, he's still chasing you. Yeah, that didn't work so much. Well, I know that simple move to location works, and I'm not so sure. Nope, that didn't work either. Let me just pop open my AI for the spiders in Minecraft. So he's, it says he's chasing me, as you can see, chase player is active. He's not, you know, actually doing that. Oh, cause there's no, bro cannot uh, chase without a nav mesh bounds proxy. This basically just sets up an area that AI are allowed to walk in cause Otherwise, I will not allow them to. Okay, he's now chasing me. As you can see, he's not pointing the right direction. This is particularly obvious when we actually hide the mesh. That's fine, because I can just rotate it. Or I can first do that so that the particles move with him. <laughs> now he's he's a little bit fast. <laughs> also his floating particles maybe last too long. So couple of things. We will set the animation play rate to 0 0.2. So he's slow-mo running. We'll set the character movement speed to 400. So he's still faster than you, but he's not grossly faster than you. And then just to test, I'll throw him into this room. The green areas are where he's able to walk. No, okay, so he is still grossly fat. If, if, if you get seen, he's going to catch you. Speaking on getting seen. Bang, perception. He needs to be able to actually see. So we'll add a sense, add sight. Sight will give him, yeah, these numbers seem fine for the most part. Okay, so he can maybe see too far. He probably should only really be able to see out to there. We'll bring it way down, a thousand. So right now he would be able to see us, even if it weren't for the fact that he's cheating. This is actually kind of cool looking. It's way better looking than I thought it would be. Make it a kip clip for a jump scare. It won't be a jump scare. It'll just be a die. 
Is this a maze? No, just a big area. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take a quick break. Nah, nah, we're not. I'm just gonna look at something. Huh? Checking my stuff. Oh, is he still going? I forgot to turn him off. Okay, so when he hasn't seen you, what he should do is pick a random spot and then move to that spot and then wait. And he should wait somewhere between half a second to 1.5 seconds, which is what this means. Uh, new key, vector, and that's target position. If we just run that, he's gonna leave. Nope. He's not gonna do anything. Okay. Shadow Man. You're not gonna do anything? That's fine. We will do it for you. AI perception on target perception updated. When we're updated, uh, we don't care about any of that. Cast this to character, top-down character. So it's basically seeing is the thing we saw the character? If so, then we want to get controller. Get controller. And get blackboard. And set value as bool. Remote to variable, uh, chasing. I'm gonna set chasing. Oh, I didn't need to promote that to a variable. Make literal name, chasing. All this nonsense basically just lets us say, start, start chasing. Oh, actually, no, that's... Mm, we need to make sure it was successfully sensed as well. Whoa. So we make a branch. If so, do that. If not, I'm gonna debug by saying didn't see anything. Because I want to see when this actually gets called. Is it gonna get cold right now? No. But I think it will get cold if I walk in front of him and then walk away. Okay, so it didn't get cold there either. I didn't start chasing either. <laughs> um, he should have started chasing. Okay, let's see. Both, these should both be set to both. That didn't work either. Yeah, let's print stuff. Just check that something's coming through. Uh, here. Print string and say hello.
Yeah, he's not really saying hello. He used to be friendlier. <laughs> he definitely used to be friendlier back when I knew him. Okay, so this isn't getting called. On target perception updated. What is the one I'm meant to use? Oh, I'm meant to use on perception updated, am I? No. To my old code. Well, the spiders don't work using this kind of site. To my older code. To the Mario's code, actually. Damn, that's old. It's been a while since I looked at Mario's code. And that's all the kill player stuff. Oh wait, is the perception done in... No. Oh, Mario doesn't use sight either. Okay. Oh, we're going even further back. The, the Mammy Bear code that I made for Normie. Sheesh! That's old. Uh... Well, it's not here either. Um... <laughs> Oh, okay, I put it onto the wrong thing. That makes sense. It's supposed to be on the controller. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's cut all of that. Put it in here. But wait, there is no AI perception, so we'll add it. to add a sense of sight. <laughs> get con I don't need to get controller anymore, I can just call that. Okay. Let's go in front of him, see if he says hello. He's not saying hello, guys. Don't think he wants to say hello. He didn't say that either, so what? Did it just not... Not a character? It's not running. This code is not real. Oh wait, did I not? Mm, it seems to be there. On target reception updated. Break stimulus. That's not working either. We're almost at three hours. <laughs> don't, don't worry guys. Don't worry at all. Uh, maybe I should pick this up tomorrow. that make a, because I'm a bit low energy now, a bit tired. Yeah, okay. We're gonna finish this off tomorrow because I'm low energy, my mods have all left, and uh, I wanna, I, I need to look into how to fix this. I don't wanna do it on stream. So, thank you everyone for watching. I will see you later. I'll probably stream this tomorrow. I'll finish it off. Um, yeah, been good talking to myself. What, yes, what, okay, uh, bye bye i see you uh, later. You're still, oh, you're still there. Okay, the mods have not disappeared. I'm sorry, but still, uh, I need to finish this off. 
I'm gonna finish. I won't do any more off stream, but I want to finish it. Uh, tomorrow because it's been three hours. <laughs> so yes, thank you everyone. Well, yeah, that's the thing. If I do it today, I'm not gonna add the cookies, and I want to add the cookies and all the health bars and stuff, and I won't do that in half an hour, and I don't have time after that. So yeah, uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Editor, don't include the fact that it... Oh, actually, yeah, we can include it. It took two days. We'll see. Uh, yeah, see you all.